It's hard to imagine what the Republic of Georgia is like. In the middle of the Caucasus Mountains, the country is neighbored by cultures as varied as its topography. Georgia is an ancient land of myths and legends, full of a warm and hospitable people, the Georgians. Georgia is located in southeastern Europe, bordering the Black Sea, between Turkey and Russia. Comparatively, the area occupied by Georgia is slightly smaller than the state of South Carolina in the U.S. or the Czech Republic in Europe. Spoken Georgian is like no other language and belongs to its own ancient linguistic group, unlike any other language spoken outside its region. Georgians call their country Sakratelo. The origins of the country's name is obscure. Georgians were devotees of St. George, and theories have it that the Crusaders made the connection and named the country Georgia. These days there's no mistaking the link to St. George. A golden statue of the saint slaying a dragon dominates Tbilisi's central square. He is also Georgia's patron saint, and the national flag featuring his red cross on a white background is everywhere. Georgia, and in particular Tbilisi, the capital, is a patchwork of architecture. Intricate balconies precariously hang from old buildings. Cobbled streets ramble through ramshackled neighborhoods. While decades of little money spent on redevelopment have left gorgeous historic buildings in disrepair, there is a wonderful charm likened to an older lady still clinging to her glorious past. This charm is breathtaking in its wonder. Today's Georgia is Eastern Orthodox. 84% of the people surveyed say they belong to the church. Ancient monasteries and churches stand proud on mountain peaks around the country, since Eastern Orthodox Christian religious history reaches back to the 4th century. The Georgian Orthodox Church plays a large part in modern Georgia. It has helped the country keep its ancient musical traditions during the Soviet era and has been central to the Georgian sense of identity since independence. Eighth of August, 2008, the outbreak of the war. It lasted only five days, but it was disastrous for Georgia. The war began with an operation by Georgia, which hoped to seize the breakaway region of South Ossetia 
that had been outside its control since the early 1990s. Initially successful, it did not take Russia's army long to retake the area and push deeper into Georgian territory. Nearly 1,000 people were killed, while tens of thousands of Georgians living in the disputed areas were forced out of their homes. Russian troops are now stationed in 20% of the country's breakaway regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia. So I'm Teresa Sadagashvili, I'm the student. The life before the war was very interesting for me. Uh, at this period I was the school student of the 8th grade. So before the war my life was so interesting. I liked the books as a student, as most students. I liked the painting as this job I like right now even. Um, so then the start of the uh, war between the Russia and the Georgia in 2008 and it happened what we um, already have seen. Um, so it was really uh, difficult for us. So even the directly, um, it was not the war directly for me because I live in New Rally, but still it was really difficult for our family and relatives and the people who were living in those villages. Okay. Um, mostly the whole village was empty uh, because of the war and um, even my family um, and run for because of war in Tbilisi in order to be more safe and um, even this conflict, I mean the, the sharp conflict was not in my villages, it was um, so it was the great uh, scares because of war. Okay. <laughs> During the war, everything was I mean, terrible. For example, even the uh, prices rising up, up immediately, and the people said that the prices of the bread even was the two or three lorry, and we we said that the stock of the bread is I mean very limited. That's why the people was uh, under the danger and panic. Mm, and even then, um, after the war, the, re the integration was so difficult in our back life and uh, living in the villages. But actually, um, the, then the good one that the uh, war uh, gave us was the Georgia became the uh, very famous for the international platform and politics. <laughs> Even for uh, today, Georgia is so famous because of this fact, maybe. And even we uh, we have got the um, some uh, very tangible results from the European uh, platform of the politics. For example, the visa-free regime that that is very important for the Georgian citizens. Uh, how did this affect your family, the, this war? Um, 
Nothing special. I was a child when the war mm. began. My mother was very ill. Mm. And um, we were very scared, in short, I guess. Yes. And so you went to Tbilisi for safety? Yes. yes, yes. For safety. Do you have family in Tbilisi? Um, I have a grandmother. Grandmother. Great so the uh, Russians invaded her village. Is she from South Ossetia? Uh, South Ossetia. Har. I'm from the Kwakhreli that is not even directly in the south of Saitia, it's not belonging, but actually it's very near to Tsrinmali. Mm. That's why when the Russian the army bombed the, this region, I mean south of Saitia, it was the uh, horrible uh, sounds of bombing and it was the influence on the people's mm. panic. Okay. And uh, so you're 23, and what are your aspirations for the future? In the future, my aspiration is um, I want to be a successful painter. Ah, because painter. I like paint very much. And my last words will be everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Hope, hope, and hope. The U.S.-backed 2003 Rose Revolution, led by former President Saakashvili, transformed Georgia from a corrupt, Soviet-style, failed state into a democratic Western nation. In the process, the country also became a NATO ally. During the Russo-Georgian War, there were real worries that Georgia would now drag Europe and the U.S. into full-scale war with Russia. Tamar Khanishvili, Otsitsilis, Gorida. I'm Tamar Khanishvili, I'm 20 years old, from Gori. Uh, so for me the um, 2008 years was so difficult and terrible for me because my father is a soldier. Uh, that's why the most effect from the war uh, felt the uh, children of the soldiers of the Georgia. Mm. So we heard about the war um, on the 7th August in 2008 when the, uh, when the officials called my father about this war. Um, so from the very beginning, my father did not say anything what was happening uh, at this period, but the next day my father uh, told me that uh, you should run from Gori and a beer. Uh, so, uh, most memorable thing was on the way we were uh, running to Tbilisi. I saw the soldiers with blood and their face I still remember right now. Their eyes, how they were looking with danger and the scares. So the next days and on the 8th August we ran on the mountain region that was more more and uh, more safe uh, place. But unfortunately, we even did not have the mobile phones. That's why for several days, I even did not know about anything about my father. Was it died or not? So, 
და მომი დასრულებული იყო. So in the uh, several days my father fortunately called us and just said that stay here you are. Da sabovot chen tsavet et pochi dasavlet sakartovoshi da ik chamovita ramdenime khni shemdek erti tvis ganvobashi viqavit ik chemdebi. And at least we moved to Poti that is the western part of Georgia that was more safe place and my father then then go back to Poti in one month. Yeah. Mm. I think that's all. Okay. And so today you are a student in the university and yeah. what are your uh, future aspirations? Uh future aspirations. I think you pick up else var masavlebeli chovlebe bavshos vamzadeb inglisurchi magram momovat els vapire rom raimis msakhuri mozebno iseti rats damekhmareba sakotari tavis realisebashi kvas videbisis okay for i know i'm the private teacher um i'm in the home teacher i'm preparing the students in english but this is my uh, my job right now but in the future i really want to uh, find some really desire and appropriate jo job in order to integrate and to develop and use my skills okay um going back to the war when you uh, saw your father uh, how did you feel after uh, the scary times yeah and simar that ar maxus kargat martla ar maxus imitor patar ar gavi magram zustat vits imdenat monatrebuli ar gavi da imdenat an em emotsimis gamakhato ar shemitlia imtom cheulebrivat ese gavuhi mi ragatsa chabekhute da es iqo da es magram ma shemdi kuva mama chemi zalian ari shetsuli ertadats isits Uh, so to be honest, I really did not remember the, the most detail what was happening when I met my father. But to be honest, I'm just a person who really did not, uh, who, who really uh, can't express their emotions. That's why I just uh, uh, smile my father and hug so very much. But just one thing that I can say right now is that my father is. I'm much more affected uh, for, uh, by the war and uh, changed it so much. How, how did he change? Okay, the mood and the characters and the habits, everything has changed with my, with my father. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, okay uh, final thoughts? <laughs> final thoughts? Okay. And what else is it in my room? და მეუხედავად იმისა რომ ჩვენ გორში ვცხოვრობთ არ ვიყავით იმდენად აქ და არ ვიცი და ვერ ხედავდით მაგრამ მათვის ვინც აქ იქედან წამოსულები არიან ხედავ რომ მათვის მომ ძიმედ გადასატანი აღმოჩნდა რა თქმა უნდა და მხოლოდ გორელები არ ვართ ვცხოვრებლის მიდარა უთქვა მთელ მას აკეთებო მიგრძნო ეს გემით So because our, uh, of we we are living in Gori so fortunately we uh, went back that's why it's uh, much more better for us and not such kind of terrible in comparison with the people who are still who became who has the status of the refugees and cannot uh, go back in their villages mm. okay thank you madova In understanding Georgia's complex present-day relationship with Russia, it is important to understand the history of the two Russian-occupied breakaway regions of Georgia that are South Ossetia and Abkhazia. With independence in 1991 came three secessionist movements in three autonomous areas and conflicts in two of them. The conflict in South Ossetia in 1991, followed by the conflict in Abkhazia in 1992 and 1993, resulted in the mass displacement of ethnic Georgians, Ossetians, and Abkhaz. As many as 200,000 Georgians may have fled the fighting in Abkhazia in 1993. By December 1996, Georgia had 280,000 internally displaced persons. A campaign of ethnic cleansing against Georgians in South Ossetia was conducted by South Ossetians, Georgian villages around Tishkin Valley being destroyed. Since the wars, Georgia has maintained that Abkhazia and South Ossetia are Russian-occupied Georgian territories. When war broke out in 2008 over South Ossetia, 
the U.S. and the EU, after giving Saakashvili the impression that the West would have his back in the case of conflict with Russia, stood by and did nothing to help. The war with Russia took serious consideration of NATO membership off the table. Had Georgia been a member of NATO at the conflict's onset, it would have forced the U.S. and the rest of NATO to declare war against Russia. Before the war, Ossessions and Georgians were on rather good terms with each other. There were even Ossession elementary schools taught in Ossession run by the Georgian government. But the Russian government, starting from the Soviet period, always had a plan of splitting Georgia up into different ethnic enclaves. One part of this plan was to foster feelings of independence and dissatisfaction against Georgia. The annexation of Abkhazia, followed by the annexation of South Ossetia, was part of this plan. One of Russia's claims was it had to protect the Russian minorities in these areas. For a while, the Ossetians were independent, but then Russia started to slowly absorb them and take away their autonomy. Now Russia has almost complete control of this area. Um, what, uh, no, I'm Uchan Fidobadze. I'm uh, 25 years old. Okay. And if you could tell us about the uh, uh, his life before the war, uh, during and after. Mm -hmm. I'm Rogor Oshenskhorba. I'm 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 um, so before the war, I was the skilled people, um, and my um, I mean I was fond of this sport, and they were affected uh, so much on my um, all my aspiration about the sport and on my development on sport. What sport? Three. Football. Yeah, football. It was the football. Yeah. Okay, and so he was into football. Uh, so what happened? Uh, is he from North Os or South Ossetia? Uh, Saidahar. Uh, Gori. Gori. So he, uh, he is living still in Gori. And what was happening uh, at this war period? Can you... I don't know if I was in the war period. Omzrus Ola Per Kargad Moxos, Piro Yord Kaosa Persi, Romulus the War of Conflict is on as Tanah lost. No, but chem twelve in the Buddha is somewhere Mokma de Babin. I dance as with Pira Sopralia. Da Askarad Chanda is is draw the is period, Rogor de Buddha, Tundat San Hodroman Cannabis Gada de Gleba, Cheni Joshan Satan or Man Cannabis. Da Nura twelve in with gas, a clat is period, is just at is Baushu Almashimara. Argad Moxos, who has trained the Bombilis of Peli, Rogor Shemo Diodin Russia occupant Abbey, the Rogor Nadgur de Buddha is Hare is Omisdros. So at the period of the war, I was in villages, that is the frontier village of the, uh, I mean, it's the conflict region. And uh, everything I remember so clear, uh, clearly. Uh, for example, I was the witness how the war began and how the procedure was going on, how the army cars from the Russian side and even the Georgian side uh, going on the streets of the villages. And I was witness um, how everything was destroyed and burned in my village. And it was so uh, a terrible thing because even I was a little boy, uh, it was so emo emotional for me to see that. So did his family come to Gori or did they flee to uh, Tbilisi? So it's the village named uh, Targvisi, Targvisi, that is the Brikhavi region right now. It was the frontier village in the conflict region. And on 7 August we ran from there and uh, went to Gori. But when the, the war uh, began in Gori too, we ran to Tbilisi. Mm. Does he have family in Tbilisi? 
so right now I have family in Gori and living with them in Gori too. But uh, at the period of war, I had uh, I had relatives in Tbilisi. That way we uh, went to Tbilisi uh, in order to have a short-term shelter to be more uh, safe. And uh, because of the fact that we had a little girl in our family, uh, we were obliged to uh, go and to run uh, from Gori and go to Tbilisi to be more safe and secure. Well, but my train Kalaxi Dabrineba, Robert Zout, or Kalaxi Suswa, Anuswa, Shesrili, or Gori, and Toroiko, Dant Arbinebe, that's Lule Corpusebe, Danbury, Ganat Gurubuli infrastructure, the Dant Arisaklebe, Nuesco, Elazi Albert, Tuli, Trech, and Torbash Rota, Shen Kalax Chow, the Hada Hedoro, Shen Kalaki Aradis, Seti, Serogoritz, Rogoritz that over us, Ganat Gurubulita, Kamli, Oisevis. Sunik Zinoboda, Chenkalaxiro, Zneli, or but the tall gorilla is to stop Irada Chet to set at Monda is Tseli, is Exitre, is to Augusta. So the four last thoughts I really want um, to tell the story about the last day. Um, I mean, uh, the last day when we uh, when we uh, went back to Gori and see the city that was the change so much because of war. Because everything was burned, every flat was burned, and uh, there were so many people killed, and even the smell of war was still in the city, and uh, not as the tangible smell, but the uh, memories and the thoughts about the war still were with the people, and the danger of this. And it was really, uh, I mean, difficult for us to see the city, how it changed, before and after the war and how they everything was burnt and destroyed and how the pain in the city was existing. The infrastructure in many of Georgia's smaller towns dates back to the Soviet period. After communism collapsed, Georgia's long-awaited freedom from Russia was marred by a civil war which devastated the fledgling economy. Ten years after the war with Russia, the Georgian economy has bounced back with resiliency. Over the past decade, Georgia's economy has grown at an average annual rate of 5%. This was in spite of the numerous shocks, including the global financial crisis of 2007 and 8, and the conflict with Russia in 2008. High unemployment continues to be a thorn in Georgia's economic side, though. Agriculture, winemaking, fruits, hazelnuts, Tourism and small-scale metallurgical industries centered around manganese are the main employers. In 2018, Georgia ranked ninth in regional economic freedom in Europe, and its markets continue to open and expand. Proud of their ancient culture, the Georgians are known for their hospitable nature and love of life. Optimistic of the future and the stoicism of their culture have and will carry the spirit of Georgians through. Mm. 